Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the IWA Unlimited Video Wire. I'm your host, John Stone. You know, for the past few months, no one, no one was more dominant on the tag team scene than that of the champions, Generation Kill. Well, a few weeks ago, tragedy struck this tag team. As per the stipulations of the match they competed in at our event known as War, they lost and were forced to disband as a team. Right now, let's take you to Blake Reed with comments on this unfortunate situation. You know, ever since war happened and me and Matt Maverick had to disband, everyone's been asking me, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? And I had to sit and think for just a second. And I remembered all the past IWAU tag teams that have gone through the ranks and stuff. We had the Top Guns, who are great athletes as their own self. Then you had Team 3X, Jay Spade, who has won multiple club titles, Joey O'Reilly, who is the, is the reigning heavyweight champion right now. Then, of course, you had the Kentucky Buffet. You had Matt Cage, who won the heavyweight championship. And you have Alex Castle, who, in survival mode, gets a chance to win that heavyweight championship. So, I'm not sure what the future holds for me, but I'm ready to see the future, and I see my high hopes will be happening in the future of Blake Reed. So please be on the lookout. I told you, I told you, I told you, right here. Best friends, best friends. Me, Christian Rose, we're best friends. We got a picture on Valentine's Day together. See, and now I'm sharing it with all of you. I'm sharing it with all of you because you can buy them here at IWA Unlimited. So, that's not what I'm here for. That's not what I'm here for. It's just, you know, kind of a bonus. Uh, Tony G. Tony G. Tony. Now we met. We met at the last show. Things didn't really go your way. I may do. I may do on my promise to, you know, hit a home run with your face. I think I did that. But our series isn't over, Tony. This series is not over. It's only beginning. Because I was just told by the board of directors that next week, it's me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, again. So since the series isn't over, I feel appropriate time, appropriate theme for this right here. The seventh inning stretch, if you know what I mean. Oh man, Gunner, you're a lot more of a man than I thought you were if you just sat through this Best of Darren Corbin DVD. It was tough, but oh, so I am a man, and I, I, I suffer through the worst okay. to become a man, so let's get out of here. Trash that. Terrible. Familiar spot. A little over two months ago, well, two months and a week to be exact, I was in that ring with a man who thought he was strong. Well, a week later, that strong guy sat right here and watched me claim my second victory here at IWA Unlimited, which my first victory was the week before over him. When his knee gave out on a lock, Really? Who does that happen to? That's like, that's like breaking your elbow putting your shoes on. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Nothing about that man makes any sense to me. He has this saying, get tough or die. Well, we seen two months ago he's not tough, so he must have died. Or at least he's going to. Because you see, he mysteriously is coming back. Oh God, this will happen, oh, believe you me. But let's just hope the knee holds up to the lockup because I'm tired of wasting my time with peasants and has-beens like Cody Strong. This is what a corn-fed beast looks like, and this is what a strong man looks like. I'm the good-looking guy. 
I got better things to do than talk about Cody Strong. All right, fans, that about wraps it up for this edition of the Video Wire. Until next time, I've been your buddy, John Stone.